set the diario entrance. So my name is Khalif Assad, Rafa Jeffries. Um, I flew in from Japan. I'm ready to take the tour. So the very first time I heard about DD Audio was from my little brother, or I called him my little brother, uh, Clemmy Jones, AKA Free Jones. I used to run Kicker a long time ago, uh, back in the early 90s, and he introduced me to DD Audio. We met in 2004 in Sigonella, Sicily in the military. We had a good relationship, and then uh, I guess once he started seeing some of the stuff I was doing when I moved to DD Audio, then he had it kind of got an itch. It, it brought back, I think, childhood memories from like the 40s or something. <laughs> <laughs> After I switched to DD Audio in 2017, actually borrowing a teammate's equipment because I had some failures and uh, after that run, uh, my wife looked at me and says, we're buying DD. Today is my five year anniversary and I'm here. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Based on everything that I had read and everything he had sent to me, I knew that DD Audio was the brand and the company I wanted to go with. My first DD build was in my Honda Step Wagon. It was a 2007 Honda Step Wagon. I ran with two DD Audio 9912s in a box or an enclosure designed by Drew Jones at Basin Hall at Productions. And it was tuned to 34 Hertz. So the car audio scene in Japan is weird. Uh, they're more into SQ, which really isn't SQ. They just throw a bunch of loud speakers in the vehicle and they call it outward audio. So they project all of their speakers facing outward and they based off ear and distance, they see who's the loudest. And that's basically how they do theirs. There are quite a few bass heads there so at every audio event, we do tend to have anywhere from 10 to 20 bass heads within that scene. And they carve out a section just for us to compete with one another. I want to bring Didi Audio to Japan. Uh, that's my ultimate goal. It's starting to get there because every time I show up at a show, people ask, they look, they're very curious. They're asking me questions on how they can get DD Audio. And from my experience of working with you guys, it's a family environment. I guess when you think of the name DD Audio, you think of huge presence in, in car audio and high end. And when you come here and it's just like, you, you can't point at one employee and be like, he don't want to be here, it's Friday. It's like, it's all smiles. Everybody is just upbeat. DD Audio is like Chick-fil-A of car audio. Like everybody smile and treat you real good. Like it's awesome. We've seen it firsthand in the shops. They're building things here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Hands down, best audio company in the business. I love the whole entire tour. My favorite part was taking a picture of that front door that said DD Audio before I Oh yeah. In. Yeah, I think that to me, that was the, the best part. Like, you know, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I would agree with him on that one. The things that I've been able to accomplish in Japan wouldn't have happened had he not introduced me to DD Audio and had you guys not been there to support me the entire way. So I greatly appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You can follow me on Facebook at Khalifa Saad Al Rafa Jeffries or on IG, uh, it's B-I-G underscore M-O-N, the number one. Or you can find me on YouTube, Kicking It With Khalif. And you'll see all the stages that I've gone through as far as my builds from my step wagon to now my Suburban with the 8DD9912s in it. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>